So growing up, I heard a lot about Sayer when dad would go to Sayer board meetings, but I really didn't know what Sayer was. So as dad's uh, health began to falter uh, in March of 23, we moved dad into Sayer. Uh, Mom was still around and we came over and visited every day and I got to really see what Sayer was. At Easter, he went downstairs with about 30 people and they had an Easter egg hunt. And he enjoyed that really immensely. And he was quick to point out that he won the Easter egg hunt also. And then at the end of the Easter egg hunt, they asked him to pray for the group. And dad did that. And he really enjoyed being able to share his uh, prayer and his influence and devotion to Christ with the rest of those people. So even when dad was, his health was really declining, he was still influencing people for Jesus. He met with a caretaker here and she told my sister that she made a promise to him that she would slow down her life and she would get things right with Jesus. And so Karen and I were having a discussion one day and she was just sharing some of the vision of Sayer. And she actually said, we're looking for some land and in particular in Nicholasville. And if I knew anybody that um, had any land in Nicholasville to let her know. So within two or three days, I was in John Weiss's office and I was talking to him about me going on the board at Sayre. And I said, they're looking for land. And John looked at me without hesitation and said, I know where 40 acres are on the back of the property here at Southland. And he said, we've been looking for something to do with it for 10 years and nothing has felt right. But he said, this feels right. And within a week, we had approval that not only was the land available for Sayer, but it was gonna be gifted to Sayer, which is a huge blessing. Karen and John and I met dad in the room. And unanimously, they all just said, man, let's proceed. We don't know what the plan is for Sayer yet. We don't have building design or anything like that, but we know it's a ministry that means land. So they just said, we're not gonna sell it, we'll give it to them. That's where we're at, man. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> we just wanted to come all together and share with you what the means was. We wanted to see you smile. What do you think? I don't think it's great. And dad was just so overjoyed. He got to experience that. He was still in his mind enough to know really what we had said and he truly understood what the gift was and he was thrilled. One day he told me a story that I wasn't aware of, but his best friend, Larry Johnson, who sang in the Messengers Quartet for years at Southland, said one day they were back there on that 40 acres and they couldn't, we couldn't figure out really what to do with it with the church. And Larry looked at dad and he said, Moss, you know what we need to do out here? we need to build a nursing home on this property. And lo and behold, that's what we're gonna do. Sarah Christian Valley is, is a ministry of God's. When we run out of land here, this is an answer for God. 